Hey guys, generic username here. I'm back again with yet another booster pack opening. And this time, with the new Kaldheim set coming out, I figure it's time to delve into that. So yeah, I decided to get another set booster up. Because the last one we did was Zendikar. That was actually kind of cool. I mean, I like the fact that there's a guaranteed foil and that you get another card and that you can potentially pull a card from an older set. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start getting into this. Of course, I decided to cover this thing in 20 pounds of plastic. Alright, let's get this cardboard off. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, there we go. Oh. Now that's all that's left is the actual booster pack cover. All right. Oh. Okay, that's some cool art right there. Look at that. God. You know, with all the weird stuff that goes on with this game, man, this game just has amazing art. It makes me so happy. It was actually one of the things that drew me to the game to start with, was the art. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put that bad boy aside. Okay, so our very first card from Kaldheim is Ice Tunnel. It's a snowland, that's an island swamp, and it taps for blue or black. And it enters a battlefield tapped. So, there's a whole cycle of lands that, dual lands that are snow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see if I can get that centered on the screen. There we go. It's pretty good right there. Alright. Alright, so our next card is Dogged Pursuit. Three and a black. Enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, you play this, and then you just kind of create inevitability, especially in limited. For common, that's pretty good. I mean, for four mana, I mean, I, I guess you better be playing a lot of removal and interaction in order to make it good. But, yeah, it can help finish the game if you need to. Alright, so now we have Dread Rider, Five and a black. It's a spirit knight. As one in the black, tap it, exile a creature from your graveyard, target opponent loses three life. Okay, and he's a 3-7. Oh, wow. That's a big butt on him. Yeah, I guess for six mana. Yeah, six mana, 3-7, that drains your opponents if you exile a creature card from, a, from your graveyard. That's okay. I mean, I'm assuming that you're... I don't know. There's probably, like, some kind of, like... You can sack your creatures for value theme in this set. I really don't know. I don't really know all the cards in this set. I know the snow. And some Viking stuff. And some gods and other stuff like that. But nothing like I'm crazy. I don't know a crazy amount of this set. Okay, so let's see. We got the next card is Priest of the Haunted Edge. One in the black. Snow creature, zombie cleric. Tap, sack him. Target creature gets neg X, neg X until end of turn, where X is the number of snowlands you control. Activate this ability only time you can activate a sorcery. Zero four. Okay, so he's your payoff for all the snow. So it looks like black, based on the two snow cards I've seen so far. Black deals with the snow. That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, I like the fact that you can, so for two mana, zero four, you neg out the creatures. Yeah, so far this looks like it looks like Black wants to play an attrition game and then win by draining out, draining your opponents out in the long run. I like that. <laughs> and yep, we got yet another black card. <laughs> Village Rights. A single black. Instant. In addition to, to uh as an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards. Okay, so sack a creature, draw two cards, feel your hand, all for one mana. Yeah, that's not... I like that. I, I can't complain about that at all. You know, card advantage is always good. Um, I wonder if there's... There's got to be things that in the set that say, when it dies, do something. So, this has got to be good with that. Alright, 
right, so, man, we're just, all I'm getting is black cards. What is this set? Okay, so, or what is this booster, I should say. All right, so the next card is Infernal Pet. Two and a black. Creature Imp. When you cast your second spell each turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it, and it gains flying until end of turn. Okay, so three mana, two, two, they can grow and gain flying whenever you cast a spell. That's pretty good. So in the long run, it just becomes a, a flying beater. All right, that's not bad. I mean, it's not permanent flying, but still. Just being able to make him big is good. But then he gets evasion too. That's really good. For And for common, that, that's, that's draftable in my opinion. All right, finally not a black card. <laughs> All right, so this is Ruined Crown. Three mana. Artifact equipment. When Ruined Crown enters the battlefield, you may search your library, hand, or graveyard for a Ruined card and put it onto the battlefield attached to, to Ruined Crown. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Quite the creature gets plus one, plus one, and is equipped for two. Oh, that's right. Ruins are a thing. I forgot all about that. Yeah. I, I think they're enchantments. I really don't remember exactly. But yeah, there's like snow, ruins, which makes sense with Viking lore. Yeah, this... Okay, that's that's awesome. Oh, well, there we go. There's a ruin right there. Alright, so this one is Ruin of Flight. One in the blue. Enchantment, aura, ruin. You can enchant a permanent. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. As long as enchanted permanent is a creature, it has flying. As long as enchanted permanent is equipment, it has equipped a creature has flying. Okay, so you can throw so with ruins you can throw it either on an equipment or you throw it on a creature, which is pretty cool. Yeah, actually that's really nice with the. Uh, I know Zendikar had the ones that automatically equipped uh, uh, equipped equipment to creatures, so you can have it automatically equipped, and then you could throw it on the equipment throw this on the equipment to give it that extra buff. Um, yeah, this, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw this on a sword of fire and ice or something like that. So my creature hits evasion and has all that good, and have pro two colors. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool with that. All right. Our next card is Ruin of Sustenance. One in the white. Another ruin by the looks of it. Enchantment or Ruin. Enchant permanent. When it has battlefield, draw a card. I'm guessing all of the Ruins draw cards. So, anyways, as long as an enchanted permanent is a creature, it has lifelink. And as long as it's enchanted to equipment, that, equip that equipment has equipped a creature has lifelink. So the white one's lifelink, the blue one is flying, the black one's probably like death touch, and red one's like haste or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I like these ruins. They're cool. Alright, so... Those were Quint. Those were all uncommons. Yeah. So, what is my... I'm guessing a rare is next. And that is... Furja's Retribution. I probably butchered the name. So, this cost one, a double white, and a black. Create a 4-4 four -four angel warrior token with flying and vigilance. That's the first part of it. Second part. Until the end of turn, angels you control gain tap, destroy target creature with power less than this creature's power. And then three is angels you control gain double strike until end of turn. And it's an enchantment saga. Whew. Yeah, that seems uh pretty spicy. I like that. So you get an angel. Okay, so you create basically a Sarah Angel for four mana. That Sora Angelo can destroy a creature then by tapping it. Tapping it and destroying a creature of power less than it. And then three, it could smack somebody after that for a damage. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, this is a sweet sealed card. Uh, I'm guessing with like the angels. Oh yeah, there were, I'm not thinking about it. I do remember seeing spoilers about lots of angels. So yeah. Yeah, this would be awesome and sealed. Uh, hopefully it could be something that's playable in standard. I mean, they did give you Bane Slayer in standard, so imagine pairing this with Bane Slayer. That would be awesome. 
oh yeah, this would be <laughs> this would be cool because then you can use play this turn four, turn five play Planeslayer, and then you have a four four and a five five, and then your next turn you give him double strikes, so you can go ten eight eighteen damage. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so what's my next card? Uh, oh, hello. This is Valkyrie Harbinger. Four and a double white. A creature, Angel Cleric. Well, that's flying, lifelink, and at the beginning of each end step, if you gain four more life this turn, create a four four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. Okay, so you gain life, you create sour angels. And she's a four five. Nice. I like this. Six mana, that's a... Yeah, say this is a finisher and sealed if i ever seen one. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I like my angels. I like the art. I love, like, how she has, like, the whip and all that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I'm guessing my foil's next. It looks like it. It looks like it's a green card, and it's... <gasps> Guardian Gladewalker. One and a green. Creature, shapeshifter, changeling. Oh, that's right, changeling's in this set. When Guardian Glade Walker enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. He's a 1 1. Oh, yeah. So he can become a. comes in as a 2 2 if he wants. So he can come in literally as a 2 2 bear. Because, you know, changeling. So, yeah, I like that. So you can either pump a creature or he comes in as that. Neat. And my token is a human warrior. Is that foil? No, that's not foil. That's yeah, I like the art. Looks like more like a dwarf than a human. Alright, so yeah. That was my booster pack. I got a uh, Verja Verja's Retri uh, Retribution. And I got a Valkyrie Harbinger. And those are completely all center. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that's all I have for today, guys. If you really like the video, be sure to leave this video a like, and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I hope you have a good day, have a good night, and I will catch you next time. Peace!